Hello everyone and welcome back to Lead Coding. We are back with another episode of Women in Technology. For this episode, we have Sashrika with us. She is a hackathon product specialist at Major League Hacking. She received the GHCI scholarship. She also received Google Women Techmakers scholarship and Goldman Sachs scholarship. In this episode, we will talk about the Goldman Sachs scholarship. So let's start the discussion. Sashrika, first of all, briefly tell us about the program. Yeah, sure. So VTech Goldman Sachs Scholarship Program uh, is actually not just a scholarship program, but also a mentorship program. And its application is live currently. This is a program which aims on empowering women in technology by bridging the industrial gap that is already there. So it gives you an idea on how things work uh, and how does the industry go about when you start, you know, working as a software developer or if a product manager or anything that else you want to do once you're in the field of technology. It is basically focused on, you know, helping out women uh, understand how the industry works and also helping them, you know, uh, create a track for them uh, while going through their college phases. So if you they want to work as a software developer, they'll help you. Uh, they'll allow you a one on one mentor uh, from Goldman Sachs and she'll help you like my mentor was uh, my mentor was really helpful. So they help you out with whatever you need uh, in terms of resume building, confidence building, interview preparation. And if you want help, you know, uh, figuring out what you want to do in your career as well. They're completely open and they help you out with all those amazing exercises that they create. So it's a six month mentorship program. And then it is uh, in addition to that, uh, they give you a scholarship amount to, you know, help you out with your uh, studies or if you want to pursue higher education like anything else that you want to do so this program is basically focused on empowering women with uh, you know helping out them financially and also providing them the necessary guidance that they need okay so what were the eligibility criteria for this program sure so the eligibility criteria they they have actually tons of points in their eligibility criteria that you need to fulfill uh there are only i think seven participating universities so when i participated there were seven participating universities but there are other universities as well if uh, like they add other universities as, as well each year so you have to check on that which university is a uh, part of this program uh when they launch it uh next of all you should be enrolled in one of these universities pursuing a undergraduate program there uh, and then after that uh, you should be like the most important part is that you should be passionate about you know a uh, woman in technology helping out the community and uh, you are one of you're passionate about a career in tech and you need help and further assistance in that so if the, so the reason that this program would be a best fit for you would be not because of the eligibility criteria but mostly because you're passionate about this program and you want to pursue a career in tech uh, and, uh, you know, avail all these opportunities that are out there. All right. So what was the procedure of the application and total how many rounds were there? So they had only have one round. And the best part of this is they actually select uh, their mentor, mentees and scholarship uh, recipients on the basis of uh, an entire application form. But that application form is so rigorous that they actually uh, take an idea of your entire journey of uh, your career in tech so once you fill that application form that's when they decide uh, you know they'll roll out their results and decide which one would get scholarships uh, when i participated there were 45 scholarship recipients and out of uh, 45 mentorship recipients and out of them only 10 of them received the scholarships um so it's it's actually uh, the application form which decides uh, if you'll get in or not and the application form covers a lot of places. So you require there are multiple levels where you have to, you know, complete that application form. It requires you to fulfill your, fill your LORs, which is your letter of recommendation, out of which one should be from your academic institution and another one could be from anywhere that you have worked with, let's say a volunteer program or an internship that you did somewhere, anything that you've done and someone who can vouch for your work can provide you an LOR. So there are two LORs that are required. Then your resume is an important, is a must. Your resume should cover experiences based on leadership skills, you know, your technical skills, your work in the community of tech and your work empowering women and helping out the community. So these are a few things that you need to do to when you're you know, making your resume and then applying for this program. Then there are essay questions that you need to cover. These essay questions are based on your experiences as a, you know, uh, uh, defining your career uh, in tech, which would be, so the questions, they are diff more differently every differently every year. 
but from what i remember with from my application program i participated in this uh, in this program in my second year and uh, they have all these questions which you know act these questions are very um specific on how you want to you know shape your career ahead what is it that you want to do uh and what is it that you're currently doing which aims and you know which further fulfills your aim of becoming a software developer per se so uh, whatever that you want to be this program is uh, a very great opportunity for you to you know define your own ideal and be there uh, be a part of this program the other thing that i want to mention about the application process is that once you're filling these essay answers it gives you an idea of you know to figure out what you want in your career these essay answers are the way that they decide who would be your mentor now my mentor uh, in the gs program was you know a lot like me so that really helped because my essay answers were so particular about what i want how i want to be how i want to shape my career it actually helped them to decide the best fit and the best mentor for me so they pair up very often with the one on one mentor for 6 months or for 6 months program and if you fill your essay answers you know be very authentic and original with them uh, you'll get someone who actually help you out a lot with your entire journey and since it's a 6 month program you stay in touch even after those 6 months uh, because you create a bond you network with many um, industry professionals during this course period and then i i think they help you even after the program so it's really important that you fill these essay answers with utmost honesty about your experiences about what you want to be and define it as such so what are the things that you put in your resume your resume should include uh your most important experiences now it should include about your leadership whenever you know you've tried to come up uh led a team per se let's say you led a team or you uh organized an event like anything that actually represents your leadership skills you need to put on those experiences apart from that i think you should also make sure that you you know add your technical experiences wherever necessary any skills that you learned any courses that you took but make sure you put it brief anything that you put in the program in the uh, in your resume should uh, define your experiences but at the same time should be relevant to the scholarship program so uh, try to avoid you know adding to your hobbies or anything else uh, like that but mostly focus on adding your technical skills your projects your volunteer work uh, your work in the community of women in tech uh, you know if you're contributing to the community if you're organizing events if you're going to hackathons you know add those things and this would be very really helpful rather than going for hobbies or non uh, something non technical if you want to go for non technical skills include something which aims towards confidence building like actually tells you actually tells your scholarship uh, reviewer about your experiences in leadership roles or probably in you know um working in a team things like that 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 is something that i think would help if you're working uh, on your resume for the application uh, for this application okay so how was your overall experience uh this experience was one of the greatest uh, you know one of the greatest experience i've ever had because in my second year student i was this was my first scholarship that i received and it was also a 6 month mentorship so i think the most important part of, part of this program was the mentorship that i received because 6 months is a really long time for you to you know connect with a mentor and get some advice necessary so even now i'm connected with my mentor reach out to her for all things whatsoever and she is so willing and so uh, she's so willing to help me out with anything if i need a referral if i need some other advice on you know whether to go through with the particular uh, program or project or you know just find out something else so she's very really helpful and uh this was because for the 6 months we did a lot of team building activities we actually she helped me you know prepare for my interviews and helped me uh get my first internship at flipkart so after all these experiences i think it's very important that you connect with your mentor so that 6 months was a very important period post that we were invited to the goldman sachs office for it to spend a day there with our mentor you know interact with all the other goldman sachs employees and see the work culture there experience that a little because their aim is to bridge the industry gap so they are very particular about you know all these things so they invite you to bangalore so uh girls from all over india from all over the, for all from all the universities they came down just for a day to you know experience the culture there uh see the new office that they built in bangalore and have like a good time with their leadership sessions that they uh hosted for us 
so it was a great experience and i highly recommend everyone to you know participate in this program and then uh, take uh, you know have access to all these benefits that they're providing you with uh, that cover your technical skills your leadership your interview preparations anything that they organize is very important for your personality development okay uh, so would you like to give any additional tip to the viewers yeah sure so the additional tip that i would like to give you is that when you are writing your scholarship application or when you are focusing on such scholarship programs um focus on you know putting your best foot forward by uh including all those skills all those experiences that are relevant to the program so please in- please be very specific to the point in your answers there and ensure that you utilize the entire word limit that is there so please include any experiences that you like shape your experiences in a way that it is actually important for you so when you're writing the scholarship pro- uh, answers just make sure that uh, all those answers it's so sometimes i've seen women what they like what they do is they don't write some experiences just because they feel that they are not uh relevant enough or they are not uh you know relevant enough to the program or they're just not that important it's not a big achievement something like that just don't think that way include any experience whatsoever that you think is relevant to the program because what is important to you would be important to the scholarship reviewer they don't know about uh you know big scholarships or big projects they don't worry about what what it means to you so just um, uh, ensure that you know add that in your scholarship answers that what it, what those projects that you did mean to you and if you're going to add that to your answers add that touch to your answer i think that you'll do great because then the scholarship reviewer would be um, you know would understand your answers a little better that uh, when they look at all those answers because there are five questions so they cover a lot like they cover a lot of bases so it's really easy for you to you know add all your experiences that you want all right so thank you so much for your valuable time sashrika and have a great day sure thank you so much for having me here and i'm sure that this uh, you know the lead code series that you've started would help m- millions of viewers to you know participate in this program thank you thanks a lot sashrika